and welcome to this DCP web tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate VAT using open office calc spreadsheets so I'm going to go into the internet you need to download the software first so just type in open office into Google and download the open office software here and just click on I want to download Apache open office select the right operating system that you have whether it's Linux Windows or Mac OS Click the download full installation. <clears throat> Need to wait a few seconds, five seconds for it to start the download. Save the application, install the software as you would normally install any other software. It takes a bit of time to download, it's 134 meg. And once you've installed it, you'll be able to follow this tutorial. Or you can click on this direct link here if it doesn't show that little pop up here. So once you've installed that, you can go ahead and open up um, open office calc so I've already got a document open here and I'm just going to show a quick formula to calculate VAT so we've got, we're going to use three columns here and we're going to select the columns use so click on letter A and drag across to column C and then right click and then set the format cells and set it to currency and select the right currency value for yourself for your country from here but I'm using default great British pounds so click OK and in the first column we're going to do um, X VAT price we're going to do VAT and then we're going to do including VAT we have three columns we can click on number one here and just make them bold. These are our titles. So the X fat price, for example, let's just save this, could be 100. So it's 100 pounds. Let's just click on this little blank um, square in the corner and then left the line. So 100 pound plus VAT would be actually 120. So we want 120 value in here. So to do this, we're going to say equals C2, sorry, equals A1 multiplied by 1.2. This should actually be A, A2. This is A2 here. So they're including that is A2 times by 1.2 which will give us 120 pounds so the, to work out the VAT is quite simple all you do is equals C2 minus A2 so now whatever figure you put in here it doesn't matter 95, 45, 102 pounds, 300, whatever, whatever figures you put in here let's just do a few to work out the VAT, all you do is click on this cell and then click on the little black box and drag down, holding the left mouse button. And you click on this one <coughs> and then click on the little black box in the corner. You see this little black box here in the corner and then you just drag down holding down the left mouse button. And it's going to work out all the VAT, how much the VAT should be and excluding price. The excluding price you type in and you just drag down the formula and it will work out the VAT amount here for you. That's quite simple. Quick way to calculate VAT on any price that you enter in the X fat column. Let's just save that. So I'm using this formula in my next tutorial, and my next tutorial will be for small business bookkeeping tutorial. So I just wanted to show you this VAT formula, and you can adjust that formula depending on what country or you know wherever you reside. In the UK, we charge 20% VAT, so that's why it's times 1.2. But you just might you know increase the figure or decrease it. Uh, depending on what you want to charge so if it was 40% you put plus 4 and then it will work out the 40% here set that back to 1.2 so if we take this 95 and put in 1000 we should know that this should be this should be 200 and this will be 1200 200 and 1200 
we put in 50 here this will be 10 and this will be 60 put 10 in here this will be 2 and this will be 12 2 and 12 so I hope that's a useful tutorial for you and in the next tutorial we'll focus on small business bookkeeping uh, tutorial which will be three series of tutorials first one will focus on invoice tracking then we'll create an actual invoice template and then in the final VAT tutorial we'll create um, a spreadsheet that will track your expenditure your outgoing revenue okay I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial